Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 29th, 2021. It's Friday, always a great day, and my goodness, have we had quite the uh, volatility and interesting things going on in the market. Let me try to address some of that, and let's take a look at these technicals and see what we can expect today as we get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friday. What a wild week we have had. And we have probably more questions and answers this morning after yesterday's price action. And um, obviously the elephant in the room, um, it's dominating the news all over the place, is the Reddit community and this market manipulation that's going on in these um, heavily shorted stocks. It's going to be um, just my two cents on this, guys. I know everyone's feeling like, hey, finally the little guy is sticking it to the man. But trust me on this, we're losing credibility of our market if this kind of thing continues. The regulatory agencies have gotten, um, uh, this has come to their attention now, including Congress. This is going to end up costing us all, and we're all going to see option prices increase. We're going to see margin costs increase. We're going to see a lot of things that could occur on this if this continues. So be very, very careful what you wish for. This may be the kind of thing that hurts, so dramatically hurts the credibility of the market. A lot of things could change, so be really, really careful of this. Let's take a look at these technicals here. Now, yesterday we ended up leaving um, a bit more question than we had for answers. Although the bulls really roared back yesterday, roared back strongly. I want you to notice that what we ended up doing by the end of the day, leaving uh, this pattern here behind, um, actually places a resistance level right there in the chart. And I mentioned this yesterday as that possibility that um, if we rally back up, we're gonna wanna watch this area of price resistance. Now, during the night, we had futures pushing down and we came really close to testing the lows of Wednesday night or of Wednesday um, in those overnight futures. And you can see they're bouncing well off of those lows this morning, trying to show a little bit of bullishness as we push up into the market here this morning. But we're going to have to recognize these price levels of resistance. And this is exactly the place. If the bears become emboldened, if they gain some energy or strength here, this would be exactly the place where we would expect them to show their teeth and really try to re-engage. So watch that carefully and closely. Um, we, we need those bulls to really defend this area of support right here. Um, if we were to slip down below that, if we see those bears come in today and slip down below there, um, an awful lot of confidence in the market is going to be shaken here and technical damage will have been created. So we need to see those ba uh, bulls really hang on hard and focus in here. Unfortunately, if you do a survey of a lot of stocks, there's a lot of stocks where we rallied up strongly yesterday, but all we did was push back up into resistance areas. We still have, um, we still have to break through those levels. And it's going to be interesting to see if they're going to be able to do that. So it's kind of um, tenuous here right now where we could really create some damage in this chart. And if those bears take over, we could really see some significant selling. And the reason I say that is because we have extended these markets so much that if those bears gain control, we could easily see a run for the door. Everyone will run for the door to protect profits, and that can create some substantial sell-offs. So watch that carefully. Now, if that were to occur, we know where the resistance is in the chart. If they can push up through there and hold, hey, more power to the bulls, awesome. Um, if they push this down below this level, let's just notice the next price supports in this chart could be down in here, um, could even slide us all the way down into here, 
or um, dare we say, if we really break down, down into here. So kind of keep an eye on those price levels. If this gives up, we could seek out these price levels below that really quickly um, as the sellers run for the door. So watch that closely. Um, let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also very similar pattern here. Notice that we pushed up had a nice push up yesterday, but once we engaged this price resistance up here, by the end of the day, they just couldn't hold on to it. Putting in a, uh, well, a pattern that is certainly uncertain and a pattern, candle pattern that says, hmm, um, now we don't know exactly what happens next. Notice that overnight futures pushed down. We're trying to lift this back up this morning, but we're in that danger zone here of that possible failure. Now let's take a look. If we were to give up Wednesday's low, where are we going to go? Well, we could easily drop into this area. And if that doesn't um, hold us, you can easily see that we could drop down into this area. So watch these levels closely. Um, could be an interesting situation should those bears engage. Now if the bulls can hold on to these price supports. Even just a rest in here um, gives those bulls a little bit more time to gather some energy, then that could be helpful. But with so much data coming our way, news and, and um, economic data, anything is possible. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the QQQ has by far the best chart here so far and the best evidence that the bulls um, still remain in control. Right here, we're still holding on to trend. Albeit a pretty painful pullback, we're holding on to trend. And unfortunately, yesterday's candle didn't leave a whole lot of confidence by the end of the day. We saw a lot of the big tech giants actually selling off um, at the end of the day. So watch that closely. Now, if we can hold on to this price support in here, I think we're going to be fine if we can hold on to that trend. But just keep in mind, if that were to break, if that were to move on lower, start looking at these price support levels down in um, uh, here to uh, maybe catch it if we start to um, sell off. So watch that closely. And I would suspect if we do start to break this trend, there could be a real run for the door. Um, a lot of folks closing out trades to protect profits. Um, it could become quite painful. It's one of those days that we could see, if that were to occur, we could see that really big, ugly sell-off all at once. Let's hope that doesn't happen, but watch that closely. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM actually held up quite well yesterday, but we left behind this bearish engulfing candle, and we were, uh, once again, pushing back up into this resistance, and we've kind of, depending on how you draw that trend line, notice that we may have given up that trend, and you can see that little bearish engulfing candle right there pushing through. Now, the one thing I've been mentioning here on IWM is IWM is so parabolic. Um, overall that and there's not much for good price support underneath this until we maybe pull all the way back into here so if IWM starts to slip this could be um, one of those index charts that could lead us to the downside a little bit so watch that close and here's that parabolic uh, look that I that I've been mentioning I, anytime we see a market that has gone up like this we run that significant danger if those bears gain energy um, some pretty substantial sell-offs um, could occur so watch that close then let's take a look at the VIX I gotta tell you the VIX still provides me some concern here Although we had just this massive attempt to rally the market yesterday, by the end of the day, it just didn't garner a whole lot of warm and fuzzy feeling. And um, notice that we remain above this downtrend. So there's that downtrend. And remember, I said if we pull back in here, we hold above that downtrend. If those bears were to attack again and we shoot back up from here, 
That's where the real pain and suffering could come in in the market. The real sell-off could begin and everyone begins to panic. I can't tell you that's going to happen. I don't even want to think that that could possibly happen, um, honestly. But if it does, we need to be prepared for it and we need to have a plan. So watch that closely. One of the things I was really watching carefully is I was hoping that we would see much more of a a reduction in fear yesterday than we really saw. Um, closing yesterday above a 30 handle is not that warm and fuzzy that we want for the market. So be really, really careful here and we should expect some considerable price volatility as we try to sort this out over the next few days. And I gotta tell you this sideshow, carnival sideshow stuff going on with the Reddit community, is just that it's a distraction and it's creating an awful lot of volatility and um, could ultimately end up causing us some major major problems here so um, be careful be careful out there let's take a look at t2122 the t2122 four week new high new low ratio notice that where we set right now here at the end of the day we pushed back up just a little bit. Now, earlier in the day, we had pushed all the way back up into here, um, and um, that end of day sell-off brought us back down. You can see we're trying to catch a little bit of lift here right at the end of the day, but what this tells us is we still have that open space down here for some more selling. Um, it's been a long time since we've been down here, but believe me, we will be down here once again. Um, is that going to happen today? Can't tell you that. Um, what's going to be interesting to see, though, is if those bears do re-engage, just how hard they can push to the downside. If those bulls can hold on and, and hold um, the overnight lows in the futures, we most certainly have that possibility that we could rally up out of here. If we can get some good earnings reports, some good economic data, we've opened up the door for a big upside rally should we find enough energy to do that. So we've got both sides here that could occur. We'll just have to be really, really careful. Remain very focused, remain flexible uh, because anything is possible. And then if we take a look at T2101, I gotta tell you that I, I was a little bit happy that we saw T2101 continuing to rally yesterday. Notice we moved on up. So in that bullish, bullish move yesterday we saw some energy back to the upside but overall this is still not the pattern that um, really engenders an awful lot of confidence seeing that market breadth continuing to struggle here um, although albeit um, rallying yesterday so just kind of keep that in the back of your mind and um, what that might mean if those bears re-engage um, so watch that closely let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar we have several things that we're going to want to be paying attention to this morning um, as you can see here on the calendar we have the employment cost index that will be coming out uh, before the market opens and the big one of the day is going to be the personal incomes and outlays we'll want to keep a close eye on that one that's the one that could really move the market and then we also have uh, Chicago PMI, consumer sentiment, and the pending home sales. All of these things can move us around a little bit. So a busy morning on that economic calendar of events that could be both bullish or bearish. So kind of watch that closely. And then we've got some Fed speakers um, later on today but i doubt we learn anything more from those fed speakers so just watch that closely and carefully um the morning activity is probably going to be the by far the more important then on the earnings calendar um we have uh, a little bit less activity on the earnings calendar today than we had yesterday it's kind of typical we um lighten things up a bit on friday and um but we still have those stocks that we're gonna to want to pay attention to. We have um, CVX. CVX um, is reporting this morning, and unfortunately CVX is looking a little bit lower here um, this morning. So I can't tell you for sure if they have already reported or if this is just a, the effect of the downdraft that's happening in the market this morning, but watch that closely. Um, that could be, um, kind of interesting where we've got this high up here 
and we're starting to show a little bit of weakness in that oil sector, so watch that close. Um, we have BAH that is reporting today. Looks like it's pulling back this morning. Caterpillar could be an interesting report. You can see that we popped up here. This is the pre-market candle. We popped up here, and now we're pulling back on that. We've been dealing with this little downtrend here in the market. Uh, Caterpillar could have an awful lot of weight in moving around that Dow index, so keep a close eye on that. We have um, a Colgate Palmolive reporting today. We've got Eli Lilly reporting today. Um, PSX, a little Philip 66, will be reporting in here. Um, TTM and Warehouser, just a few that um, I've got on the um, uh, on the blog as notable. Um, earnings today. If you want to catch the entire list, everyone, click on that link that's just below the title of the video. Take you back to the blog and you can see that entire list. So with that, everyone, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And by the way, I just want to remind everyone, besides these morning market prep videos, there are a lot of training videos um, out there on the site. If there is something in specific that you guys would like me to do a video on, please feel free to to leave that in the comment let me know and I'll see if I can put something together and do that if um, you find these videos to be worthy if you could also do me that favor and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps us continue to grow and then also please feel free to share these out there on any of your social media platforms and I just want to say thanks to everyone who does take the time you guys are awesome I truly truly appreciate it so let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up here that we really want to keep an eye on. Um, there is a, a pretty um, tenuous situation here in the market. We could, we could rip to the upside, we could rip to the downside really quickly. So you're going to have to stay on your toes and stay very, very flexible in the market. Let's take a look at BABA here. Now BABA has had an interesting, um, well, pretty ugly sell-off. And um, as you can see, trying to hold some price support here. It's been in a bit of a trading range here recently. And although we pulled back a little bit, uh, or I mean, pushed back up a little bit yesterday, notice we're seeing a little bit of selling this morning. So don't be too surprised if this has to push down in here and test this price support again. But let's keep an eye on this. Anytime a stock breaks the downtrend, holds up in here, you have that opportunity for this to push higher. So keep a close eye on that. You might wanna keep an eye here on Solo. These um, electric vehicle manufacturers have been hot, 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 hot this year. And um, as you can see, we're setting up in this pattern. This nice little resting pullback in here sets up that opportunity for a pop through. And you can see that I've set an alert right in here on that chart, waiting to see if we get that energy to push on through. You might want to keep an eye on solo. Uh, take a look at 3M. Now, I got to tell you guys that um, I have um, an interest in buying some 3M. Um, and I want to buy it as more of a long-term hold. Notice that 3M has broken a long-term downtrend here in the chart and pushed on through. So this little resting pullback in here um, that's going on could set up that opportunity for an entry. Let's keep a close eye on that. 3M is a good dividend payer. If the market starts getting a little bit um, shaky here, this might be a place to look for a potential trade and maybe a little bit of safety overall in the market. So watch that closely. I think it would be um, also a good idea to keep an eye on Altria. Now, I got to tell you guys just to, um, I've got a bias on this now because I did buy Altria yesterday. Um, Altria got through its report, saw some bullishness. You can see um, big, long downtrend here. This is a massive dividend payer. And I picked this up as a stock trade looking for a longer term hold. I'll be trading options around it. So although I have a, a, 
a bit of a bias on this. I still like this pattern. So let's watch this as we've broken the downtrend. Don't be surprised if there's a rest or a pullback in here. And then we want to see that follow through to the upside. And I'm not looking for anything great here. Um, maybe in the next um, you know month or so, pushing up into this area. And then if we can break through that, then we look just a reversion to the mean to come halfway back up is all I'm looking uh, for in Altria. And with it being a good dividend payer, I can and hold that for a while so keep an eye on that stock um, you might want to keep an eye on NKLA NKLA had a good strong surge the last couple of days up yesterday pulled back pretty darn hard so watch that carefully if this can hold in this area hold in this area support and hold on to this trend there may still be that opportunity that this perks on through and goes on up. And this, again, one of those electric vehicle manufacturers um, holding up pretty darn well. So keep an eye on that. Take a look at cannabis. Now, one of my favorite stocks in the cannabis sector is CGC. They've got a huge market share out there. And notice that CGC is showing lots of strength um, the last three days moving up. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this. I would want to wait for a little rest or pullback in that. And if I could get that rest or pullback, may find um, another entry into CGC. So watch that closely. Looking pretty good overall. Um, keep an eye on that. Nice looking chart. Let's take a look at silver. Now, the word on the street out there is that silver is being attacked by this Reddit community. I don't know if that's true, but watch that closely. Um, um, silver had a nice move yesterday, and you can see it is surging this morning in the pre-market. Um, to me, silver makes a lot of sense. There is industrial uses for silver, and if we are going to uh, get involved and um, infrastructure improvements and stuff like that with this new administration, then silver makes a lot of sense here, despite the fact, you know, just ignoring the fact that we're going to print money like drunken sailors on shore leave. Um, that should raise these uh, precious metals um, as well. So watch, watch that carefully um, as um, this pushes back up, there may be some opportunity here. And GLD would make some sense to me. Uh, gold, that if it would start holding up here a little bit more. And so far, it just really hasn't engendered a whole lot of confidence on my part. Um, we need to get back above this resist, uh, support level and prove to hold it, not just pop through and fail, pop through and fail. We need to prove to hold that in there. So watch that close on GLD. It might be another one of those places where you can pick up a little bit of safety so um with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading and also i just want to wish you an awesome awesome weekend be safe out there everyone be careful covid is still out there causing all kinds of hate and discontent so be very very careful and we'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning i wish you all the best take care